Donc, élever les enfants. C'est une, une tâche délicate pour des personnes qui se savent incapables. And who turn to God. Et qui se tournent vers Dieu. And the building of leaders de même, bâtir les dirigeants c'est pour des personnes brisées. Strong people break easily, weak people last long. Les personnes fortes se cassent facilement, les personnes faibles tiennent plus longtemps. On this 39th night of the fasting praise and prayer crusade, Buddha Fiora emphasized again the genius of Samuel in building a spiritual nation. He explained that Samuel first bred himself into a man that God could use to build a nation, and he chose the instruments to build Israel. Buddha Fiora noted that one thing Samuel was outstanding in is the grooming of kings, of leaders who are full of the Holy Spirit. Expounding on this, the leader said that the building of men is the prime work of the Holy Spirit and he does it through the circumstances of our lives. However, many people have escaped from this school and want to reconfigure the circumstances of their lives and these to their own undoing. Hence the prayer that God will raise many nation builders in our ministry. Pursuing with an overview of Samuel's genius in building the nation of Israel, Buddha Fiora highlighted that even when Samuel was removed from public leadership by congregational vote, he remained the leader, the spiritual authority in Israel till his death. And as he was removed from public leadership, Samuel withdrew in Naioth, and there he continued to be the nation of Israel by doing two things. First, he continued intercession for the nation and created a school of prophets to train people who know God, who are prophets themselves, so that after he is gone, the nation will not be left in a state where there is no voice of God, just as it was the case when he was born. And there, Samuel also built a throne, an altar for God through worship and praise. And this work done by Samuel impacted the nation even long after him. But Afiro explained that our auxiliary bases are to be nailed, not structures, chairs, halls, but sanctuaries, altars erected for God through prayer, praise, and holiness, and schools to train prophets, to train people who walk with God in truth. The leader concluded by saying that what Samuel did is at our reach because it boils down to walking with God. If you all work with God, not for accountability, but in the way Buddha Zad did, encountering God every morning, we'll be able to produce what Samuel produced. The slot was also the opportunity to thank God for a few topics, including those that God has enabled to fast, for the crusade here in the headquarters, where the organization has enabled us to pray 814 hours thus far, for the 411 places where brethren are praying in the nations, some praying 100 and a half hours, others praying up to 20 hours daily, for the 1,281 hours of day prayer volume produced in the nations and a total of about 50,000 hours of prayer volume produced from nations so far. For all the prayer topics raised to God in the different nations that are praying and especially the praying for their nations. Sister Esther Kwona, leader of the Walk on Quest Prayer and Fasting Center, also took some minutes to briefly teach the brethren on how to safely break their fasts. Let's 
5 à nous offrir ce un jour de jour, ça va accomplir son dessein pour toi et tu vas apporter ta contribution dans notre édifice de jeûne.